now, live from an abandoned kitchen at Fox Sports Studios, it's The Bailey with Sam Mack and Jules. Hello, welcome to episode 11 of the B-League. And Jules, this is our final episode for 2012. It is sad, Sam. And we thought we'd take uh, a look back at the A-League season this episode. And we're going to do a list of the top four distracting background moments from post-game interviews. It's probably the wordiest list we've ever put together, but let's do it anyway. OK, let's kick it off with number four. I like to call this one intense groinal massage. Really getting in there. And coming in at number three, it's Adelaide United get bootylicious. Mm-mm. Let's have a look at number two. This is my favourite. This is Mc Breen catches crabs. I think he's doing the new Gangnam style there. And here it is, the number one who could go past Stephen McGarry, tighty whitey delighty. Yes, there will be no close-up, but at least he kept the undies clean, Sam. That's a good point. And uh, look, I think we'll all agree that in terms of background distractions, nothing will top that list. Uh, Interesting stat this week, uh, Sam. Australia came 27 out of 48 countries in literacy, basic spelling and reading. So we thought we'd hit the streets here at the B-League to ask people to spell a simple word like Svonsvike. S I S V U. Is it the alphabet? Z O V N. Zavon. Z O V I K. It's giving us X or Z. X V O N. X V Y K. I don't know. S W O N. Why? Whatever. S O I G O. Something. I don't know. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Australia. Not one person got it right. Luckily, I think you, you did manage to track one more person down there. Right. Have a go. Let's see how this guy went. How do you spell Zvonsvike? Um, that's easy. Gee, Z W A N S W. IJK. Yeah. Well, it wasn't that easy because I'm pretty sure you missed an A in there. Wow, so close, Sam. And how egotistical to put your name on the front of your shirt. Mm, who would do that? Hey, uh, it is our final episode for 2012 and we are doing a few lists. And this one, I'm pretty pumped for, Jules. This is the top three sexiest A-League moments of 2012. And coming in at number three is this one, Alessandro Del Piero. There he is with his personal trainer slash birthing coach. Well done, guys. Number two, Sam. Fox Sports' own Melanie McLaughlin goes Top Gun. Wow. Mesmerising, wasn't it? Mm, Keep it together, Sam. Number one, when I think sex appeal, I think Robbie Slater. Mrs Slater is a lucky woman. Mm, That is genuinely ironic. (laughs) <laughs> now, Sam, you like a good laugh, don't you? I do, Jules. And you love the A-League. Oh, I do as well. And summer is coming up. Yes. So check this out. Check out Sam and Jules' summer series of A-League-themed sitcoms. First up, check out this cast of crazy characters who are all stranded on Milligan's Island. You normally find him stuck inside a goal, but in this side-splitting romp, he swapped a goal for a bottle. I dream of Eugenie. Hey, Sydney FC fans, after watching this, you'll realise the FC stands for funny and crazy. Yes, it's mad about Yow. Plus, coming soon, 30 Rocky Visconti. The Dodd Couple. Madoka in the middle. And how I memet your mother. Who would trust this man with their mother? I would. I trust him. Yeah. I gotta say, sorry to Robbie Slater because I think you've just been topped by uh, Billy Mehmet for the sexiest moment of the year. And Sam, if you'd like to send us your favourite A League player sitcoms, do so at the B League. And that's it for us for 2012. We'll see you next year. Good night, B Leaguers. And good night, Jamie Rogers. Tweet me. <laughs> <laughs>